Good evening and welcome to IBA News, broadcasting from Jerusalem. American Jewish detective Steve Rambam was in Jerusalem this week to present findings of his lengthy investigation into the 1947 disappearance of 16-year-old pre-state underground member Alexander Rubovitz. Rambam has proven that Rubovitz was murdered and he has named the killer. Steve Leibowitz reports. On this Jerusalem street corner on May 6, 1947, in British-run pre-state Palestine, Alexander Chaim Rubovich, a 16-year-old Jewish underground operative, was abducted while distributing political flyers, never to be seen again. American Jewish private investigator Stephen Rambam spent the last seven months investigating the case that has remained a mystery for over 60 years. After extensive research and witness interviews, Rambam managed to gain access to previously classified British documents. His findings are a chilling tale of abduction and murder by British police officers. Rambam provided overwhelming evidence that Rubovich was kidnapped, tortured, and later murdered by members of a special British unit commanded by Major Roy Farron. Evidence provided by Rambam shows that Farron personally killed Rubovich. Following this torture, during which apparently he provided no information whatsoever, the British squad killed him. Roy Alexander Farron personally bashed in Alexander Rubowitz's head with a stone. We know this from the British reports and from Roy Alexander Farron's own confession. Farron was charged with the murder of Rubovich in a British court in Jerusalem, but quickly exonerated. He went on to live in Canada, and until his death in 2006, he was a prominent citizen in the province of Calgary. He was even honored as a British war hero. Now it's been proven, at least for the historical record, that Roy Farron was a war criminal. Attending Rambam's Jerusalem briefing was Rubovich's commander in Lehi. Also attending was Yair Stern, the son of the former Lehi commander, Avraham Yair Stern. He was volunteer. He didn't, in this day, he, do, he wasn't in duty. But he volunteered because of the, uh, the dangerous of the, the group is waiting for the papers. So he took the papers and uh, they catched him. Rambam says that the case is not yet closed. The task to be done is to locate the bones of Alexander Rubovich so that he can finally be laid to rest with those fallen in defense of Israel. Uh, the historic significance is uh, maybe to remind the population of Israel that years ago Jewish kids were fighting for Israel and they were ready to uh, uh, give their lives for the independence of Israel. And he was one of these fighters. The other significance, I think, is that if and when the investigators will find his remains, and I hope, really, I pray that they'll do, uh, to bring him to a Jewish burial, and, and by that to uh, just close the, the last page on this story. 